Aquarius the Divine Soul, how are you? My name is Vince, welcome to 7D Tarot. If this message resonates, like, subscribe, and comment. And for more clarity on your situation, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. And for a totally fresh perspective, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box as well. And Aquarius, make sure you stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from the universe tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Wow, so your angels are telling you, don't worry about lack, which is really how. Like, how do I do this? How do I do that? Right now, understand that all you have to focus on is on the next micro step. Focus on really tapping into who you truly are. Remember, Aquarius, you are the best. You are the ish. You have hard coherence. You trust yourself. You know what to do. You know how to attract your soulmate into your life. You manifest who you are, not what you want. You know how to get rich. You monetize a passion. But the only thing making us feel as if we don't know what to do is that overthinking, right? Whenever we're overthinking, Whenever where there's lack, which is not carried a thought of abundance, that who, what, when, where, how, that doesn't seem realistic, practical, analytical, all that energy of what the ego is trying to do to self-sabotage you, this is why we're tapping into the frequency of more of a scarcity mindset and not of an energy of the mystical, spiritual, and quantum, which is a fifth and seventh dimension. So what does this really mean? This is a time for you to really find the freedom that you're looking for by tapping into your higher self. Your higher self will tell you exactly what to do. Right now, your angels and guides are trying to tell you to monetize a passion. Do something you truly love. You will be gifted your desires. This is what you, what you deserve, and this is your birthright. For example, Alicia and I, my wife and I, we sell pet supplements. We love dogs. On Amazon.com, we own nested pets. We sell pet supplements and we're, a we're able to help change the lives of dogs with our hip and joint and calming formula. So we're doing something we love. For example, we give tarot reads, right? We love giving tarot reads. We wake up and connect with our angels and guides anyway. So this is something that we able we're able to monetize that goes hand in hand with our lifestyle. This is something you can do as well. But you gotta understand that in order for you to know what you want to do, you first and foremost have to clear the energy because I do see here that there's some sort of energetic roadblock that you hit and right now there's resistance and when you resist anything you resist everything and when you're holding on to the energy of what can go wrong you're not seeing being defined by vision of the future or the story of the future but you're actually left with a memory of the past and right now rather than tell yourself what can go wrong tell yourself what can go right, right? Imagine when you have that financial freedom to pay off your bills. Imagine Aquarius when you are with your soulmate and you, you are networking with them and you're collaborating with them and every single day you're so grateful to be able to in the, be in their energy. Imagine shining, being happy and being your genuine authentic self. This is what you truly deserve. But remember, your thoughts are the language of the mind and your feelings are the language of the body. So this one thing is just think this, but it's another thing to feel it. You have to give your body a taste of the future. You have to know what it feels like to organically naturally fill yourself with unconditional love and feel as if you are deserving grateful honest and really expect command and assume that you are going to have this abundance enter your life you can't basically have one foot in one foot out you can't tell yourself i want this but i don't know if it's real don't worry about the the practical analytical who what when where how don't worry about that right lack how can uh, creates lack but instead be grateful and excited that you have the opportunity to change change your life because when you change your energy you change your life and this is a time right now to focus on what can go right so for example rather than tell yourself okay i'm at a job i don't want to be here i guess i'll just do it because i'm too scared to start something new instead tell yourself when I find a new job, I'm going to be somewhere closer to home. I don't have to drive so far. And then I'm going to be somewhere where an environment where people love and respect me. And I'm going to actually be getting paid what I, what I, what I deserve. And then feel as if, wow, I am so grateful to have that. So feel walking into the office, being in that energy. Feel the energy of happy love, uh, happiness and joy and love and doing something you truly love, you monetize. You have to feel it, right? And when you start feeling it, even if it's not realistic, who cares? You're tapping into the mystical, spiritual, and quantum and now you're clearing the energy of the past and that energy of the past which is siphoning energy away from the present is something that unless it's cleared we're going to be stuck so this is a time right now from the universe your angels and guides are telling you to create change change is something that's exciting change is something that is thrilling like you love change change is not scary change is a breath of fresh air welcome it good things are coming your way aquarius now, wow, look at this. So there's multiple offerings coming your way. The fact that you got the Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups here, 
just really goes to show that you have a lot of opportunities waiting to manifest. And I do see here that these opportunities are so fruitful that you're going to even have a hard time choosing which one to take. So maybe this is multiple love offerings. Maybe you're going to run into two different people that you're going to emotionally, romantically be connected with. Or maybe this is uh, different offerings when it comes to finances. But I do see here a lot of passion, a lot of joy. And your angels and guides are telling you that in order for this to happen, you have to know your worth. Remember who you are. You don't take no for an answer. You're this beautiful spiritual being filled with unconditional love, but you have to love yourself first. Understand that you are attractive, confident, sexy when you know your worth, right? For example, ladies, what's the most confident, what's the most sexy thing in a guy, right? Confidence. When someone comes up to you and they're like, hey, how you doing? Just want to let you know you're beautiful. I love your energy. I want to be around this vibration. You are like, great. But if someone, even if they're gorgeous and have a perfect job, they come up to you and they go, well, you know, I don't have the confidence to look you in the eye. It's not going to go so well. So right now your angels are telling you that this is a time for you to exercise the will greater than the programming. Know your worth because you are one in a trillion and you really are. You are more rare than a Picasso painting, okay? Because there's only one of you. Understand that no one has had the, the, the parents you've had, the experiences with that. No one has had, the, 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 no one's dated the people you've had. No one has gone to the school you did, right? You have so much different knowledge, experience, and wisdom within you that makes you unique. And right now, your angels and guides are telling you that everything is happening for you, not to you. And divine timing and divine intervention is at play. So if you've been waiting for something to happen, your angels and guides have been waiting for you. And right now, they're also telling you to strategically shift away from the lack, shift away from the energetic cord attached to a situation or person and get out of this fight or flight energy that we're currently in because you are in a position right now where you're at a crossroads like you can go down the path of least resistance which is really trusting yourself exercising a will greater than the programming learning to love the story the vision of the future but you have to reprogram your subconscious mind to do this because you're, you're the, the programming is fear the programming is self-sabotage and the programming is lack but right now when you understand that when you turn that knowledge into wisdom right your experiences were be that's beautiful energy you can't buy this is priceless and now you get out of fight or flight you're no longer you know in the state of, of, of things have, go, uh, have gone wrong and you know you're releasing uh, cortisol adrenaline in your body which is making you feel fear which is really taxing and aging us but instead you're in that stage of confidence happiness and joy now your angels and guides can intervene because you're matching their energy that your, their frequency and now they can give you aha moments of clarity of exactly what to do next so for example do this to monetize the passion go here to meet your soulmate do this to you know get those you know that, that change your health right maybe get that diet you're looking for and it always comes in the form of a synchronicity hint or clue so on your youtube feed all of a sudden there'll be something that triggers you maybe you'll get an email maybe someone will say something or they'll bring someone in your life that will that will uh, uh that's supposed to be there at the right place at the right time but right now they can only do that when your focus and awareness is on loving yourself instilling excellent habits focusing on creating a will greater in the programming using your personality to create your personal reality will get you there all right one more shuffle aquarius i will pull a message from the universe right now a final message tying everything together and right now the universe says leap of faith look at this beautiful card leap of faith and i will read from the book for you this is number 22 look at that synchronicity 2 2 so right now the universe wants you to know leap of faith see this as a chance to create something wonderful you are in transition you are in a transitional period where you need to draw on your faith intuition and knowledge to take the leap you will not fail you have a safety net of support in place. You will overcome your fear and find a beautiful outcome is on the horizon. This leap of faith is the best course of action at this time. If you do make a mistake, you have the ability to try again and learn from what you did not did not work the first time. All signs indicate that if you just trust, you will succeed. Just jump headfirst into the void of the unknown. Even if you eventually fall for a while, you will source. Right now, you got to take the leap of faith. Understand that when you risk, you will get rewarded. The universe always rewards those who reward themselves. So don't let fear hold you back. If the Grim Reaper showed up right now and tapped you on the shoulder, you're not going to be like, oh, I should have been scared more. Should have been like, I should have trusted myself. I should have followed my dreams. Don't wait for the Grim Reaper to show up to feel that energy. Feel that energy right now. Take the leap of faith. 
Confidence is nothing more than knowledge. I repeat, confidence is nothing more than knowledge. You want to be confident in business, go do some market research, due diligence, look at the company's balance sheet. You want to be confident in romance, find out, you know, study the human psyche. What does that other person want? They want what you want. Someone funny, charming, positive, right? So confidence is knowledge, wisdom, experience, and knowledge, what you feed the th- which feeds your soul. So go out there, do stuff, and then you will have everything come to you rather than you looking for it. Alrighty, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Till next time, ciao.